Hi guys! I'm Lada from Crocoblock. I'm here today to help you break the listing grid by months using our break listing by months add-on. Let's get to it. If you didn't do it yet, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Before we start, please make sure you meet all the tutorial requirements. Elementor – free version is quite enough or block editor, which is Gutenberg, jet engine plugin installed and activated with custom post type or posts created, the listing items for CPT or posts built, jet smart filters plugin installed and activated, jet theme core plugin installed and activated with the created archive template. First, we need to go to crocoblock.com website. Scroll down to the very bottom and find DevTools in the footer menu. Click it. Here you see a whole bunch of our add-ons that are totally free. Find the one named Break Listing by Months and press Download button and change the name by removing the master part. Go to the WordPress dashboard, navigate to the Plugins tab, and press the Add New button to upload the add-on. And press Activate. Now you can see the add-on in the list of plugins. In this case, we will break the posts based on the date meta field. I use a job board template. Every job in my case has a final date for applying. As we can see in the post type, here is my field ending date. Field type date. Since you decided to watch this tutorial, I assume you already have a date field in your CPT. But if you don't, in case you are just playing around, feel free to add one. And don't forget to save the date as a timestamp, otherwise we won't be able to filter by this field. Then we need to navigate to the Appearance Theme File Editor tab to define the meta field. Choose Functions PHP here on the right. Add a row with the following code at the end of the file. I will leave it in the description to the video. Instead of date, you write the name of your field, ending date in my case. Please pay attention that the WordPress tends to convert regular straight quotes into the smart style. If it's happened to you, it will cause an error. Don't panic, just change the quotation marks for the correct ones. By the way, it's always a good idea to make a backup, especially before messing around with the theme. If you don't know how to do it, please proceed to the tutorial link to this video. Now we need to create a query. Navigate to the Jet Engine Query Builder and press the Add New button. Specify the name. It's a post query since we deal with the CPT. In the Query ID option, add Break Months. This name can be changed only with configuration constants, aka in the Add Done code. In the post query, we need to set the CPT, jobs, vacancies in my case. I also want to order the post chronologically by the date field. Here we set order by numeric field. Numeric because our date is saved as a timestamp. Google Unix timestamp if you are interested to find out more. Meta field is ending date. You write the name of your field here and order from lowers to highest. Then go to the pagination tab and set minus 1 to show all the posts. And add query. And now we will apply a filter and a custom query to our listing grid. But first, we need to create a search filter using the JetSmart Filters plugin. Filter type search. I set default WordPress search here 
and create a new filter. If you are using Elementor, open the page with the list and grid in the editor. Find the Custom Query Settings tab, turn on the Toggle button, and choose the query in the drop-down. Now we need to apply a filter we've just created. Add the Search Filter widget to the page, unroll the Content Settings, and choose the Created Filter from the Select Filter drop-down menu. Specify the Query ID. Note, if you are using List and Grid in combination with JetSmart filters, you need to set break months both in Filter Query ID and in List and ID. That's why we need to go to the List and Settings, Advanced, and set CSS ID. Save the changes. Now, let's do the same for those of you who are using the Gutenberg. Open the archive with the list and grid block. And here we have pretty much the same. Navigate to the Custom Query Settings tab. Turn on the toggle. And select the Custom Query in the drop-down menu. We need to add a Search Filter block. Here it's called Search, but you can see a small filter icon on the right. Select the filter you need from the Select Filter drop-down menu. Specify the List and Grid option from the Filter 4 drop-down menu. Set the Query ID and CSS ID for the List and Grid. Let's check it on the front end. As we see, the list in grid is already divided by the months. And now let's check the filter. Let's say I want to find all the jobs that feature agent. Or maybe assistant. Works as expected. We can also break list and grid based on post publish date. It doesn't require adding any additional data to the active themes file. So I will comment it out and it will be disabled. You can just remove it. For this case, you need only install the add-on and build the query. In fact, it's almost the same query as we have already created. Specify name. Don't forget to fill the query ID, the same one. I will set here an auto as well, but this time I'll choose option by date, which is a published date by default. In the pagination tab you type minus one as well. I think you can easily attach this query to the list and grid already, but if you got any concerns, Feel free to rewind the video a bit. I suggest you add in the publish date to the listing. You will understand why. And let's have a look at the front end. The listing grid is divided by months as well. However, it's different. We added the publish date so we could make sure that the listing is sorted by publish date this time. See for yourself. We can use the search filter to check. Let's type the word designer. And that's what we see. Thank you for watching. Let us know in the comments if the video was useful or if there are any questions left. Cheers!